What's up, you guys? Um, I wanted to talk to y'all because I was just on Instagram and seeing that all retweet. This is why I'm saying I be telling y'all like. Um, Ari, this is about Ari, because I guess they posted, she posted last night, this was her tweet, today was the last day I let a nigga put his hands on me, fight your demons, not me, and it's so funny because they said she was going to come, wake up, and she was going to wake up and try to cover for it, and then this is what she said, I'm talking about a drunk man at the casino, not bag. It's a video and he pushed me on the ground. I gotta be more careful how I tweet. Girl, you you know. And this is why I be telling y'all to stop glamorizing everything that look good. A lot of these girls, and no, no shade to the girls who got the BBLs if you watching this video, no shade, boo. No shade at all, but at the end of the day, you cannot, trying to get the flesh to look good is not going deflect on how your soul feel. Like I always say, Ari, she's a dressed up trash bucket, a, a dripping trash bucket. You a rich trash bucket. You, you, like a, it's literally, literally, she's a freaking trash bucket. Literally, imagine this covered in some Dior fucking um, paper, Dior plastic wrap, Dior gift wrapping paper. That's exactly what these girls be. Dressed up trash buckets filled with garbage inside. Hella scrapes and scrapings of the past and hella damages and leftover unwantedness dressed up, covered up with a goddamn Christian Dior gift wrapping paper. Like, literally, it's a mess. That's, when you look at them, that's exactly what that is because there's no way in the world, in the world, we everybody always calls her bitter, and now I guess I understand she is bitter. I understand her bitterness because, like I told y'all, shit, I'm bitter. Like I own that. This for the yeah. This video will be for the bitter baby mama. Because at the end of the day, our bitterness it ain't coming from it come from within from the things that has happened in the past and the things that we have allowed in the past and the things that we hate about ourselves. And a lot of times. Just like for me, my bitterness come from all the pain I've been through. But we have to, like I told y'all in my most recent videos, we have to learn that we are responsible for some of that too. Because what we allow, what you continue to allow, how do you go from, I used to say this about this girl, how do you go from her, and that's why she'd be so mad at the new girl, uh, his new joint, the new girl he got the family with, um, Tyena. He, she be so mad at them because they, even with them, people glamorize that. But then when we seen that live video, it's like, you could tell it's a bunch of, uh, hey, put some pants on. Um, I'm about to make some, I'm about to make some breakfast and stuff. And I'm about to make me a grinder salad sandwich. <laughs> so let me get my lettuce out and stuff. But, like I, was, like I was saying, like you can just tell, even with her, that girl Taina now went in dealing with her. It's a, these men are battling so many demons. Like I've been telling you guys, a lot of these dudes, especially them hood ones, the rappers or the hookers, they have been molested. They have been taken advantage of. Even with being in the industry, all this stuff they got them doing, hazing them to, to keep their success, keep their fame. They sign contracts with the devil. When you sign contracts with the devil, you want to pay. And you gotta keep on doing things that you that go against your morals. This is why I always talk about principles and morals. You gotta do stuff that go against your morals just to maintain the image, maintain the money. Because they like, okay, even with that um Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, all of them girls, they gotta sell sex. That one video Cardi um posted not long ago, and it was, and I guess she didn't. I don't know if she meant to post it or whatever. But she was like, I just want to be a mom. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not, I, 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 shut, I, I shut away from that lifestyle. I don't do that stuff no more. But when you sign a deal with the devil, you don't get to decide that you don't want to do that wicked stuff no more. Like me, y'all see me telling y'all about my past. I signed a deal with God. I repented and gave my life to God. And when you give your life to God, you're going to have to lose everything from the past. You got to lose everything. They will literally, if they want to give their life to God, they're literally going to have to give up all their riches. 
And who wants to do that? Who wants to go back broke when you've been up like that? Who wants to do that? Just to now get it back the, the morally right way. They're not going to do that. And this is why they continuously have to do these things. And like this stuff is real. This spiritual warfare stuff, this stuff is so real. And that's why Ari, like even with the, on the shade, like the shade room, um, with the BET awards, they had a, um, they had a red carpet and it was Jada, Des, and, um, Ari right there. And like Ari's energy, like that's why everybody talks about her like that. Cause energy is real. You can feel energy. You can feel energy through a camera. You don't got to be around somebody to feel the energy. Energy is that real that you can feel it from a mile away. You can see things, at least me. Cause I'm a, you know, I got the spirit of God living all what up in me. So I can, I've always been able to feel energy. That's how I can tell as soon as somebody saw acting weird. Like I told you on the last video, it just be like, the next day people just be acting weird. It'd be like, cause I can feel, you can feel the energy shift. You can feel it, you know? And that's why I be telling y'all like, stop idolizing these girls. Stop trying to do what you think, do what they doing. Going to get these BBLs thinking that's gonna get you a rich nigga. You don't know what it takes to be with a rich nigga. Like, she has to deal with you. You got to get your ass beat dealing with a rich nigga. You got to get cheated on. You got to get BV all the damn time because he out there having sex with this girl, that girl, that girl, and coming back and having sex with you raw. Now your coochie itching and on fire and doing all of this because her bacteria coming from, he, get, he, get, he having sex with her. She got bacteria. She having sex with another rapper. A lot of them, especially the industry ones, they all chasing after the man with the money. And the man with the money chasing after the girls that look good, that they never was able to get when they was young and broke. Them pretty girls in school who would never pay them no attention when they was when they was young and broke. So now when they get older, they're like, ooh, ooh, I can finally get this girl that I was never able to get before because I got money now. Like, that's why it's this gender whole gender war with when the girls are after the men with the money and the guys are off the, after the bodies and, and then the girls want to say oh we not getting these BBLs just for men now, who are you getting it for who are you getting it for you getting it to, so you can ha get that attention from them you want the attention from those guys and I even saw that girl that came on uh, the Beyond the Chair podcast, and she was saying it. You got to get your body. That's how you get more sales. Like, you get more traction. That shit is for social media. Social media influencers, they have to look up to par. They have to look like a model. They have to, a lot of them are getting paid to be models and stuff for big brands. So they have to look the part. And to do that, you got to sell your soul in the process. Look at what this girl going through. Army, it, it, this don't even make sense. A girl like you, so I'm, I'm talking about a drunk man in a casino, not bad. It's a video I'm pushing on the ground. You wouldn't have wasted, waited, wasted your time to tweet that, especially if your man was with you. Ain't y'all all in Bahamas together? Y'all posted the video. and all Y'all all on the on the trip together. This They say this is right before. This was a couple hours before she tweeted this. She tweeted this at 4.48 a.m. Who? What? Ain't no drunk man in the casino fighting you at that time in the morning. Yes, the casinos be lit at that time in the morning. But by then, they, they die down. So, it, it still be people out there that's lit. And I guess it depends on where they are. Y'all in Bahamas. Um, wasn't no drunk man fighting you. Especially if you, they were all your friends, your posse. Come on. Let's be clear. You And then you, you wouldn't be talking about fighting demons. You know your man suffers from demons because he got that Waukesha addiction to that lean and stuff. And like I said, a lot of these dudes be having these addictions to the opioids, to the lean and stuff because they're, they are battling demons. We are all battling some. Oh, see, I slay demons. <laughs> Only demon I need to slay him is that cussing. And yeah, so. <laughs> um, and I got a couple other things I need to work on with myself too. But nonetheless... We talking about this, <laughs> but it, it's true. We are battling something. Y'all think these dudes are just mad and angry because they want to be? No, it's trauma, trauma. This is why they can't commit to no one woman. I don't know why she would think. And this is what I'm, I, would, I used to say about her because to me, if anything, you look. If you was gonna deal with this money bag shit, that's how you know she was chasing money chasing and when herb shit starts slowing up his money wasn't popping how it was in, in the first place then you like fuck you i'm on to the next nigga who getting the money then you went to javante then he hit you now you want to bag 
Like, and you feel like I can't move on because now you're going to keep thinking I'm past, been getting passed around. So you feel like you got to stay stuck there. And you also got to prove something to your baby daddy because uh, you want to make it seem like you happy and you richer without him now. And you came up more than her. If she got a thing with her, you can tell, like, come on now. I'm true to this, not new to this. I'm true to this, not new to this, baby. My, <laughs> you just... Why would you even tweet? Today was the last day I let a nigga put his hands on me. Now in the next one, it's a drunk man in the casino. No, baby, you wouldn't be doing. You wouldn't be doing that. And then, like they said, when they, when they first got together, he snatched a wig off, um, out in public like that, and they got into it or something. He's battling demons. One minute he gonna be good, next minute he gonna be like that. Like he's gonna be that toxic, especially y'all getting drunk. And he feeling them feelings that you suppress them spirits. Look what I was just reading to you guys about the Russian liquor. Like, that they trying to, with the spirits, with this whole um, liquor thing. Like, that um, with the U.S. trying to stop allowing Russia to sell their liquor here. And all types of shit. These things is spiritual. All of this stuff is spiritual. And that's why we need to stop chasing the wrong things and get our souls together. Just like her, you be so angry. Oh, that's what I was saying about um, when they was on the red carpet. Like her energy with the with the reporter girl is just like, I got my ring. You, that's not like, that is not even, we are grown. You are, promise rings are for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, even 18 year olds. As, as a 23, 24, how old this girl is, what is a promise ring? You either giving me a real uh, engagement ring or you're giving me nothing. Like, or you're just giving me a ring just to be wear cute. But for you to be putting it on your, your ring, you know, that hand, as if that's your marry, if it's an engagement, no, you be pressed to announce everything else. You would have announced that you you got engaged. Come on in. Same thing with the Tyena girl. Y'all be trying to act like she's engaged to her, act like she's the better pick over Ari. She getting treated the same way. This is why Ari called her ass the babysitter. Because she is getting treated the same way. You can tell. Look at how her drunk on the way to the appointment. These dudes. It's them. They are battling this. And everybody think that you're going to be the one to change this man. Girls. Ladies. We have to stop thinking. We're going to be that one. So now I'm ready. Say, Lonnie, give her some more popcorn. Say. The popcorn is in the room. It's in the room on the um, thing. But stop thinking. We we got to stop trying to be Miss Super Saver Ho. We can't save these niggas. These men got their own shit going on from childhood traumas that they can't even let out. They can't even, they can't even really be vocal with us as they women. Well, some of them, you know. Like, they can't even be vocal to tell you about what really... Was it's a bunch of stuff. It ain't just them losing all they did, homies. Like I told y'all why I'm fucked up. What did I tell y'all why I'm fucked up? Because it was this, then it was that, then that, 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 that. Just like her. You done had something probably happened to her too, maybe as a child. You from Chicago in the city like that. Like a lot of us. Been molested as a young kid. Then you go into relationships, now you getting beat on by these niggas. Then you getting this by your friends. Then you get so it's like dun 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 this happening. Then you losing your family members. People dying. Hold on. Yeah, y'all. I was saying. It just be stuck on top of stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff. We just be having one thing after another. Piled up, piled up. That's why we so hurt. Why we so angry. Why we so broken. This person that hurt us. This thing that happened. This is just. But it's part of life. And we got to learn how to truly go to God and take it all to God. And let him help us get us through each of these things. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm eating this little wrap. Because trying to temporary. It's just like with an illness. If you sit. You don't want medicines just to keep treating it. You want to get the cure for it. <laughs> Excuse me. You want to get the cure for it. You don't want to just keep on taking time and all. Just like if you got a bad toothache. 
Keep taking Tylenol, keep taking Tylenol. Yeah, it's gonna temporarily relieve the pain, but that pain will come right back. That pain will come right back until you get that tooth to the root of what's going on with that tooth and figure it out and get it out your mouth and get it healed, whatever is wrong with that tooth. Until you get to the root of it, keep taking temporary medicines and doing temporary things to satisfy the pain, it ain't gonna do nothing. All it's doing is you wasting more and more time letting the tooth get in more and more bad, worse and worse, getting decay and decay and decay, letting it get into your bloodstream. You like literally letting it get worse. Trying to avoid it, keep trying to cover it up with temporary things. It's like you want to find a solution. You want to find a solution. And temporary jumping from this one to jump into that one. We be like, oh, this one. This one ain't work out. I thought it was. Let me go run to another dude. Let me go run to the next girl. And then these dudes, they be running to all the girls that look just alike. Look just alike. There's one thing different about them. The souls are all still messed up. This one might know how to cook and this one don't, but nonetheless, she's still a soul, a messed up soul that know how to cook. Like, this dude might got more money than him, but nonetheless, he still beat ass too. He just beat ass and got more money. So you, like I said, well, Ari, right, you went from one nigga that was beating your ass to now another nigga that's beating your ass, but it's okay with him because he got more money. He can buy your love. Don't ever be bought. This baby, I'm gonna put her down for a nap. Hold on. So, that's what I wanted to say, like, don't be bought. A lot of these girls, a lot of girls can be bought. A nigga do something to you and all of a sudden he buy you a gift. He buy you a bag. He buy you this and all of a sudden it just, it, it takes away from everything else that he been doing. And that's what makes them realize, okay, so every time I do something, all I gotta do is buy her a bag, buy her a piece of jewelry and it's, she, gonna, she gonna be okay. And, it, and I can just do it again and keep doing it again and again and again. And then all that do, does is damages the woman more and more and more and more and more. Till she reach her breaking point. And by the time she reach her breaking point and she ready to leave, the dude will be like, how dare you think you can leave now? You taking all my stuff. How dare you try to leave now? Yeah. You been taking all this and now you want to now you want to have balls and leave me? Now you want to fake have requirements? This is why we got to have the requirements from the get-go. And after the first time they do something, we got to set the tone then. Like, keep trying to do all of this stuff for temporary boys and... Just to appear this way to the public. A lot of these girls, stop glamorizing them IG girls. Because a lot of them be dealing with hell. Just to maintain an image to the public. Like they got it going on. And you can see it. Like look at Ari. Like I was saying how she was on a red carpet. Like her energy. You just. Your energy. You just full of attitude. Being full of attitude. Ain't nothing cute about that. Having so much attitude. Not knowing how to be pleasant. Don't nobody want to deal with that. And it's like, I don't even understand. Because where's the relationship going? If the relationship not going the same direction, what are you doing? What are you doing? And that's why they say she'd be mad at Tyena because you might be with the richer dude, but Herb gives Tyena that family vibe that she's looking for. She might not have been looking for the richest man. She wanted that man that's gonna at least come home and we can do family time sometimes, even though he clearly be in the streets too. But can you have that family bond with uh with with, with can Ari have that with money bag? He got all of this ten baby mamas and all these kids and other families. Like, can he do that? No, he can't do that same stuff. Hey, okay. no more. <laughs> I'm not gonna let her for a night. But I'm like, what are you even with realistically? Money bag ain't about to do nothing with you, girl. You just his little trophy, his little, his little public piece. What are you gonna do with you? What do you even want with this man who got all these kids, all these baby mamas? He ain't moving you in his house and buying a house for you and your son so y'all can move in together. Two years and a relationship ain't going nowhere. 
all y'all can do is date and go out and get something to eat and buy bags and buy this. But are you guys really building together? Like, Okay. Stop glorifying these people. Let me give them very much nothing. So, I'll see y'all next video. I'm going to party that right now. And I'm going to, um, we're going to start planting our seeds today, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to do, I'm going to probably record us planting our little seeds for our herbs. So, deuces.